Welcome to Mobile Meals, Steve Duval and Tom Shaw from Thor Motor Coach. Today we're going to talk about something that is tasty and not as, I guess, labor intensive because usually yeah. you think fancy meals, you think this is going to take forever, right? Yep. How's a little chicken parm sound today? Yeah, very comfort, comfort food, awesome. Yeah, and normally you think, okay, this is going to be a lot of steps, and this is a lot of steps, but it's delicious, but it's not as hard, I think, as people think it really yeah, is. Yes, really not. So what we have here is we have our chicken breast, which we bought our chicken, we took and we trimmed off all that gunk, right? Because you don't want to eat the gunk. Then we took and we kind of took a knife halfway through, and you just kind of fillet it. And then you flip it over, and then if you want, just take a rolling pin and roll it out. Even so, it out. exactly, that way it will cook a lot, a lot more even. We got our seasoned flour, we have our egg wash, we have our breadcrumbs seasoned with some Parmesan cheese, we got sauce, we got some mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. Back here we have our water boiling for our pasta. Our microwave is preheated to 425 degrees and we are about ready to roll. Great. So here we go. What First thing you want to do is you want to take your chicken and you are going to just dredge it into this flour, right? You want to make sure that it is coated. What all did you put in that flour? I have some salt, pepper. some salt, some pepper. Yeah, I just season it up just a little bit. And you are going to and just shake off all the excess flour, just like that. Then right into your egg wash and really get some of that egg on there. We had a triple yoker. Triple yoker. I have that. never seen a triple yoker before. All right, so you get to get this covered with the egg wash. You want to get everything covered so that bread, those breadcrumbs stick. We got uh, some Italian seasonings in there. Uh, that Parmesan cheese, that grated Parmesan. All right, that looks like that is good. Looks good. And you just drip off the egg. Let that egg drip right into here, and then literally just cover that, all right? Just cover everything you want, flip it around, grab a handful, stick it up on there. And the thing you want to do, you want to press that down, right? You really want those breadcrumbs to stick to your chicken. And it's going to make a little mess, and this is one that's going to be a little up there on the Aria scale, but you want to cover every inch. You got that Parmesan in there, you got those spices looks, in there. You just know that's going to be awesome. Yeah, you know what? We have our pan behind us, and you want your pan hot, because what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, this in some hot olive oil. Okay. Uh, go ahead and put uh, some olive oil in there, enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And then while this is browning up, we're going to take and we're going to put some pats of butter under that and then that will really brown up the breadcrumbs we're going to take and we're going to put it into our oven and then while that is cooking we are going to do our pasta noodles so we got our oil ready to go and i think we are good here just like everything is ground in and smashed we got cheese on there that is going to be good That's going to be awesome. just like that all right so you make sure that your pan is hot and we're going to let that go just a couple minutes each side one thing you can do to really brown up the breadcrumbs is take and put a couple pats of butter in the pan, let that melt, and then that will really brown up those breadcrumbs. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna give it a little flip. Nice golden brown color. It's gonna be crispy, gonna be delicious. Again, put it in just a couple minutes aside. You only flip it one time. That's all it takes. We're gonna let that crisp up. Our water is getting hot for our spaghetti. It's really, once you get it going, I guess the prep is really the, the, yeah, the busiest the part. Flavor intensive. And then the cleanup. That's always the worst part. All right, it has been just a couple minutes on each side, and you can see just how golden brown and tasty that is. That looks awesome. Smells great too. Yep, so, and then you go ahead and you transfer that into your pan that we're gonna bake. All right. And we're gonna crank up that temp on that water, make sure that is boiling so we can drop our spaghetti in. Then before you put this in the oven, go ahead and take and you wanna put some, a little bit of marinara sauce on there, whatever, uh, whatever your favorite is. Just a little bit, get that all on top. And then we got some fresh mozzarella cheese here. Awesome. Couple pats on each side, just like that. And we are gonna put this into our preheated oven. There we go, just like that. And we are going to go ahead and turn our focus to our pasta. All right, we just pulled the chicken out of the oven. 15 minutes, 
425 degrees. Looks delicious. The cheese is melty. It's ready to go. Tom, why don't you go ahead and strain that pasta. We'll season it. I got some sauce over here that is hot. Going to move that off of the stove so we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and put it right there. All right, so you can do this a number of ways. There are a lot of places where they'll take and they will serve, you know, this chicken on the spaghetti. You can put the chicken on the plate next to the spaghetti. So I guess it, it it's however you want to do it, right? How do you like it when you order the chicken parm, Tom? Um, I, I'm pretty much mixing it all together anyway, so. Go ahead and then let's go ahead and pour that on the plate. Go all ahead right. and put some pasta on there. Put a little pasta on there. How about a lot of pasta? How about a put lot of thing. pasta on there? How about that? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. And then let's go ahead and we'll pour a little sauce on there. Oh, that is a lot of pasta, isn't it? That is that is a nap waiting to happen. <laughs> that is food yes. coma. All right, we oh, got awesome. our chicken on there. And again, you know, you can cut into it and make sure that it's done to your liking. Just like that. And you know what? How about a little more sauce? That's a feast I, for a king. I like things super saucy. Saucy, or as they say in French, saucy. Just like that. Saucy, and they say it's all about presentation, but honestly, it's not. <laughs> it's all about taste. It's all about taste. It's, it's all about eating. Serious. And you could serve this up with, if you wanted to uh, make a Caesar salad, I think that would be fantastic. You could, yeah, uh, I'd heat up some bread maybe with that. I think that would be great. You could, you could do some bread garlic bread, bread, something like that. So that is our chicken parm. Simple, easy, and I'd say on the Aria scale, probably looking at three and a half. <laughs> Yeah, Probably seems, three and a half. I yeah, think that's, that's about right. And, uh, and the one thing you do have to do is you kind of have to time your chicken to your pasta, right? But you're going to want this to cool down before you eat it anyway. So yep. we are going to let it cool down so we don't burn the roofs of our mouth. Yeah. We've done that one too many times. So right at the end of this segment here, we do have the entire recipe for you. Go ahead, write it down, enjoy, and that's what we're going to do. Bon appetit. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Mobile Meals.